Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 with legendary Iron Man exquisite timing with permanent dark events. This is the second attempt. My name is Saiken and we are going to try, still try to do the world's first. It's so damn close guys. Just need to do that mission and then the final mission is upon us. It seems to be rather straightforward. The reason why I'm not opting to skip this mission is I am not sure if the uh, the secure transmission uh, council missions um, would actually cost you uh, the entire area and since we're so close when it comes to research i need the continent bonus here so we can't um, uh, let anything happen um, here which is the reason why we're going in also uh, there is an option to just get a bit more experience uh, we got Bone Zirkim, Renven, Hawkbite, Solar, and Gravedigger, our new uh, skirmisher, are subbing in. It's difficult, although it only says uh, nine enemies, and that gives me um, a moment to pause and reflect. Um, maybe, just maybe, we're going to use a battle scanner. I do have the feeling that uh, we might end up running into the cho uh, the Chosen and I don't want the Assassin to get a cheap shot on us. Quite the opposite, we want to hit her and we want to hit her hard. Let's begin the mission and hopefully this is going to be a flawless run. Oh, I do understand why it is a difficult mission. This is an actual extraction mission. But we're, we're going to deal with the reinforcements. Ah, gotcha. Good, we can't extract here. So this sort of becomes a must-win mission if you think about it. Good. Everyone is nicely concealed. Advancing quickly. Affirmative. Move, move, move. Rolling out. And we got our mimic beacons, so even if things are going sideways. We should be fine. A lot of armor. That extra armor padding just it adds up. It's it's a strong dark event. Uh, strong dark event. Remember, no matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. We absolutely and one hundred percent know about that. Soon our prey will fall. Okay, so the easy way would be to simply um, use another explosion, but we're not going to do that. Instead, to the void. I'd like to build up some focus for Hogbite. Taking the high ground. And we can certainly wrap up some kills. What I would want to do is I'd like to give our core crew a chance to get some kills so we can also get some promotions. Took him three attempts to get that one. All right, Renvin. All right, 
We're immune to explosions, so can easily walk in. There's the extra focus I was talking about. Sola does need kills, but Renwin certainly does. Check it before you get too close. And there's Renwin's promotion. I am on watch. Good job. Watch order confirmed. I'm on it. Well, that's three down, five more to go. Moving up with bones. So far, so good. Well, it's a pretty solidly packed uh, environment there. Sierke moves up. Okay. Renman moves up. I don't want to trigger any of those guys. What's over there? I'll go quickly. Good. So we're staying hidden. For whatever reason, although that did not show that we would uh, trigger something, it's still triggered. We need the grenade for something else, probably not. This is for you. So let's get rid of the cover and make sure that we hopefully can kill those guys. Good, that would be a kill. Moon over. That guy was already damaged, so I'm not sure why it shows that we're that we would only deal that we would only deal uh, partial damage. Um, this here is a 50-50 chance to kill it. Which is why we were using Sting. That's fine. And let's kill this guy. There we go. Codex done. Expended a few resources. Granted. We put the fear into them. But that also means we don't have to deal with those guys later. The trap is set. Perfect. Everyone took a nice little beating. We're low on explosives, but that's okay. There are only going to be a few more reinforcements, and that's about it. Let's try to get the mutant down. Very nice.
Good, let's get some more focus. Moving up. Oh, that's a good shot. That's it. Weapons burning ammo fast. Reinitializing weapons. Good. We killed four plus three. No, wait a second. Uh, those were not four. That's five plus three, so that's eight. Everyone's down. Which means we can now start doing what we were As you supposed to do um, anyways which is setting us up for um, yeah defending really this high ground here looks excellent Good. So let's first of all, everyone needs to reload. Back in. Good. Secondly, how about we're putting solar up here? That'll give us good agency to shoot down anything that we will we will find over there we have no remote startable object here still no remote start I want to go through his circle. Sometimes that already triggers uh, the next phase, and we certainly don't want that to happen. Grave Digger will soon get this guy. Zirkum over here makes a lot of sense. Huge uh, agency on the map from here. There might be a drop point somewhere here or here. So let's maybe stay in the middle and adjust accordingly. Unfortunately for us, there is nothing to remote start. Unfortunately for us, number two, we do not have Blade Storm, because the Blade Storm uh, Templar and reinforcements are fun. That's a lot of extra attacks just from essentially being there. So let's take a look. We're moving in. One spot of reinforcements over here. One over there. Okay, cool. IP identity confirmed. Firebrand is setting up for evac. We've got multiple contacts closing on your position. It's an ambush. Hold your ground. We're holding our ground like we've never held the ground before. Mm. 
Yeah, we don't have Bladestorm on the Skirmisher yet. They do have a Bladestorm equivalent, but we don't have that yet. Let's already move up so that we can do well. On the other side, we're going to What's over there? take a couple of good positions. I always like high ground. Bones. Where do we put you? Probably up here. So we've got one, two, three, which means we're putting Hogbite just down here. Three on each side it is. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. All right, so let the, let the games begin, or let the slaughter begin. Nice little shot. Good job, Zirkin. Dependable as ever. As dependable as I would love it to be. No reinforcements coming in, okay. Good. Or not good. Got you. Alright, so let's start with an easy kill. Six points of damage, that would be a kill. So, why not? I like the mobility. And we're getting an overwatch for free. Starting to hit that mech pretty well. Renvin is uh, using action economy, uh, so first reload, then shoot, because we don't need to move him. Very nice shot, it, right? clean kill, good job. Okay, let's see if we can hit him. 60% chance. Going into full cover even. Alright, that's a solid hit. Pretty good. Moving up and that should be a kill. Nice shot, good job, Bones. Good job, Bonesy. Getting close, overwatching, and we got two overwatches for this group. Well, 
the first overboard shot was pretty pathetic. The second one worked though. They brought friends. Interesting. Good. We're we can reload or theoretically overwatch one more time. That is more dangerous than it looks because of its armor. Nonetheless, let's start peppering it. Yeah, like I said, not that easy. Nicely started to up and get this guy down. Moving over. Continuing to concentrate our fire on the Mac. Mac needs to die. And Bones is just the right person to deliver that. Good job. Unfortunately, we were not so lucky with our attempt to get this guy here down. Three six that that would need to be eight damage, which we're not able to deal. So it's time for our first mimic beacon. Keep in mind <clears throat> that unfortunately will create um, a legacy, so to speak, as uh, more and more are now going to come in. And with legacy, I mean it's just standing hit points on the field that we fail to remove. The mech is a really solid position here. Uh, worst case scenario. Okay. Let's see, what would a good position look like? Like this position, but the mech is just out of range. The reason why I'm not using a sniper is face off is ready again and I'd like to deal more damage. Thanks to the AP rounds we can kill one, deal substantial amounts of damage. Sola by the way is not in the final team so it's not a problem if he gets injured. Let's 
continue down here. Yeah, we don't want to just pull this guy over. Instead, let's move over. Get a solid kill. Yep, that's exactly why we didn't want to pull him over. There we go, good job, finally. All right, moving up, we want to get over there. Probably going to be spotted out here for the simple fact that they are always running for cover. But that's fine. You must keep me resupplied. Locked and loaded. Reloading. And how about a nice little overwatch? They are running out of steam, the patrols have been, have become substantially less powerful, just lower number of hit points. Firebrand is in position for the extraction. Get out of there before things get any worse. Where is the firebrand extraction? All right, it's over here. Cool, good. Yeah, we can do that. Are you kidding me? Of course we can do that. Ready to go. Next round, everyone can evac. There we go. Very nice kill. Good. So. Taking a nice long grappling hook. Right over here. Changing position. And let's A just move out. Zirkum runs to the exit. Solar runs to the exit. The VIP is with me. We're on our way out. Confirmed. Firebrand has the VIP. Time to get the rest of the squad out of there before they get overrun by those damn things. Good. Yeah, everyone's ready. Let's just wait for the last um, on the reinforcement group. Yeah, that we're not even going to fight those. Their if we get a few kills, great. If not, who cares? We picked up a lull in their forces. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's get moving before that changes. Reloading ammunition. It will be done. All right. Nice little rip jack. There you go, buddy. And let's get out of here. Sirkin, it's over here. Lightning hands. There you go. Nice little shot. And Shadowfall. 100% hit. Target down. 
gets a concealment and gets out of here. Solar does need to level anything, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm trusting you here. Renman is taking a chance here. Nope. Could have been a kill. Taking another chance. Didn't get it. And this plus Volt. So it should be enough to kill him. There you go. Provide some more experience. Good, very good. Good, Renman. Bonus use for grenades, that wouldn't be bad. Holo targeting isn't bad either, but we're going to go with grenades. That's good. We are stronger by far when working together. Your skill is unquestionable, Commander. Well, there we go. We're still not going to get the extraction in time. Not going to go for the intel. We don't need supplies. I want us to heal faster. There we go. There we effing go. Something else entirely. Something beyond anything we have ever seen. New objective added. Perfect. Okay, guys. So I need to do a lot of uh, preparation now, more behind the scenes uh, stuff. Get everyone ready, figure out what kind of equipment I'm uh, going to use. Essentially, we're now ready, um, and we still got two days. I'll fly um, and see if we can get a rush, um, a rush for the um, for the plated armor uh, going. Gotta check that all out. Um, I will uh, be back in the next episode with the network tower, and I need to read up what the absolute latest time is to do it. I fear it's July 14th, so it's really, really close. We're still um, on the um, we're we're still on the brink of uh, doing it. Probably plated armor won't be done. Uh, let's just really quick check the guerrilla tactic school. Probably going to get a couple of those updates uh, just because, and uh, then it is up to us. Um, we need to do the last two missions and get the worlds first. Thank you so much for watching. Fingers crossed. Thanks uh, for the support and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.